another vlog if you're new here my name is Rosie I'm a research assistant in archaeological science at the University of Cambridge and that is exactly where I'm going right now also my granddad did that isn't it good this morning I'm going to the paleo lab to 3d scan an iron nail I'm not sure where it's from it's one of the master's students I'm sure I'll get more context when we arrive and then I'm gonna do some processing of micro CT scans of ostrich eggshells which are very old not just eggshells eggshell beads so very cool Let's go. It's raining a little. Okay, almost there. And I'm having my coffee in a can. Feels wrong. I just remembered, obviously, I'm going to my lab. So I need to finish this before I get inside. I need to go back to the other building because I forgot the hard drives I need to do my job. Nice. about to start processing some micro, micro CT scans looking at pores in ostrich eggshells. Yeah, it's going to take me 20 minutes to open a file, I can already tell. The ultimate aim of this session on the computer was to bring together all of the information we had about each sample we'd micro CT scanned, and then to use Dragonfly to view the results of the imaging of the micro CT scanning. So I was looking both at the morphology of each sample and also the microstructure. For example, I was looking at the distribution of pores within each sample, whether this was the same for ones from the same site, from different sites. And the pores are visible because they're a different density to the surrounding material. And what I'm trying to do is to segment those pores out. And that essentially means selecting sections of different density all the way through the scan and singling them out as an entity in themselves. And it's quite difficult. So I was watching tutorials all afternoon. And here what I'm quickly looking at is the shape of the piercing through the bead and how a person in the past might have done this. I did it. I segmented the pores out and you can see the... Wait, let me turn the camera <laughs> So this is the flat shed and then this is the pores we're looking at. On this view, there, on this view, there. There it is. So you can see it. It worked. I love it when things work. Okay, next job, go to the basement, measure some walls so we can put up a big sign. Hello, good morning. Welcome to my home office today. It is very archaeologically decorated, as you can tell. I'm working from home because I have a ball this evening and I just knew it would be more productive and also logistically more logical if I stayed at home today. I also did all of my in-lab tasks yesterday with this in mind, so I've just got a lot of things to do. I've just got a lot of things to do. I have a lot of things to do, but they're all quite small tasks that I should be able to take off fairly quickly. Although my computer's being quite slow, so uh, we'll see about that. They're easy tasks is what I'm trying to say. Normally I would be sitting at my desk, which is here, and that is a very dishevelled handmade paintbrush using my own hair which came from when we went to a ceramic workshop in Colombia which is on one of my other videos well that was stressful <laughs> I thought I was gonna have a grand mal seizure I don't know why it's on my desk I must have found it in a bag or something so anyway yeah this is where I normally sit but today this is my setup because my partner's not here today, so I'm using his triple monitor situation, double monitor situation. I used to hate monitors, I really thought they were completely pointless, but I am converted.
The top priority for the day was to get all the figures sorted for a publication, which we were submitting the day after this. And that's an article about Mycenaean and Minoan signet rings. And I did some analysis for this back in, oh, I think December 2022 at the Ashmolean Museum. We did portable X-ray fluorescence analysis to look at the chemical composition of the signet rings and other gold artifacts from the museum. And we did digital microscopy and photography as well. So it's a long time coming and it's really fun to get to do the figures for this. What I'm doing is looking at digital microscope images and fixing the scales on them, making them more consistent, because the idea is that they would then be collated into one image like you can see on the right of the screen. It is now 1.22 and I've finished all the microscope image stuff where I was redoing scales, cropping, making things appropriate for publication essentially. And then I basically started downloading a load of things that I was starting that what I, I started to download them yesterday realized it was a whole task because there were so many things just finished that and it's now uploading to our backup folder and it's going to take about five hours i reckon longer maybe so i'm going for lunch <laughs> because that's a task finished and this afternoon i'll start my fresh tasks which is what i wanted so that's good I'm waiting for my rice to cook, so it's time to water the greenhouse plants. I'm less concerned about the other ones. I will water them later, but it rained overnight, so I think they're okay for now. I've got to water our 14 tomato plants. I don't know how I ended up with that many. Yeah, my lunch is ready. I've got rice, leftover tofu from last night, and salad. And the tofu is, um, I didn't make the recipe myself, but I can share the recipe. I'm in my tofu era. I'm really loving tofu. I'm loving cooking tofu. I used to think it was gross. Turns out I just couldn't cook tofu and now I think I can. So that's nice. And I'm gonna eat in my garden at our new table. We only bought this like three days ago and it's the best thing we've bought. Hello, it is 6.30 p.m. The phone got really low on battery from filming all morning and because I'm going to the ball this evening and I can't find my portable charger so I needed to charge my phone all afternoon and then I forgot about it and obviously I was working so that's that. Um, I did nothing particularly exciting and actually it was stuff I couldn't really film because I had like finance things on the screen anyway so you didn't miss anything. Now I'm about to get ready for the ball so exciting i'm actually in my oxford top but i'm going to my first cambridge ball it's pembroke ball i don't know if i remember which college pembroke is actually now i actually need to really get ready because i've only got an hour so i'm gonna do my hair obviously makeup get dressed get a taxi to john's my hair is done that was incredibly stressful i tried i tried I tr oh my god my brain's fried i tried three separate hairstyles all failed uh these were off youtube and instead i just did like a messy bun and pinned it all and then curled a bit and i think it's all right okay makeup i've literally got 15 minutes I'm ready i'm sure you can imagine the state of my room right now if i pan down you'll see this is my dress I'm obsessed with it. It was from Vinted for 18 quid. Ice cream! 
I am home. It is 4.45 in the morning and as you can see it's light and as you can hear my voice has taken a toll. I really enjoyed it, that was a great ball. But I'm knackered so I'm going to bed. I haven't stayed up till it was light for a very long time. Probably, probably, I don't think I've done this since I was at uni. Which was a long time ago now. I'm going to bed. I'm going to bed half tomorrow off so I can sleep as long as I want.